So today I want to cover Electrify America and the EV charging infrastructure when it comes to driving coast to coast. So Electrify America is Volkswagen's plan which was created almost forced on them. Actually I would say it was forced on them. Whenever they had their diesel gate issue with all their diesel vehicles where they was found out that they were cheating the EPA uh, emissions tests. And as part of that, uh, there was a settlement with U.S. attorneys and it requires Volkswagen to install um, electric vehicle infrastructure available to all uh, electric vehicles. So they're planning on 50, 150, and 320 kilowatt charge rates. And this began, began in California in 2017. And it's going to build out here over a 10 year period ending in 2027. So the reason why I'm bringing this up here is someone who lives in the middle of the United States where there's really not a lot of EV charging infrastructure. I'm already ready. I'm already seeing this in my area. So this is the map here and you can see these are the proposed charging uh, spots here and these are along interstates. And when you go to this website called PlugShare, which I'm a huge fan of, and filter down to your DC fast charging rates, or DC fast charging spots, this is what comes up here. So there are, here I am in the middle of Arkansas, and these are your, like I said, DC fast charging. So this is not your super Tesla superchargers. This is not uh, that other technology, this is DC fast charging that's available on the i3, the Bolt, and it's kind of what's become the standard here in the United States. So you can see there are two here in the in Arkansas with a third that's already built. But these two here are what kind of excite me. So let's zoom in here and take a look at them. So here we have um, one here in Hope, Arkansas. So this this is a about 120 miles from where I live, so I could easily make it down there if I needed to um, with it with an electric vehicle. So they have a few um, charging stations here. Eight CCS com combo chargers are available, and this was updated July 15, 2018. So this is a brand new installation that's working, and it's at um, there. It is Electrify America. So it's happened, like it is. This is not something in the future here. This is um, happening right now. And here we go to Forest City, Arkansas, which would be what you would need if I was gonna to try to make it to Memphis, driving along the interstate here. And again, here's another set here that they're building. So, you know, pretty exciting. Um, so really what's the significance of this kind of build out here? And why is this a really big deal? So, they're doing up to 350 kilowatt chargers. So these are liquid cooled cables. So this is pretty, pretty high powered system here. There's no car currently out that can charge at that rate. The Tesla is charged at 120 kilowatts. Um, you know, that's currently the highest that, you know, kind of mass version of, of DC fast charging. But 350 kilowatt here and again, this is from a good website, which I'll put in the link below. That'll give you, it says 600 kilometers. I don't speak kilometers, but Google does. So if you convert that 350, this is for a 20 minute charge. You'll see that it'll add 372 miles. So, you know, that's for a 20 minute stop, which is, I think a very reasonable stop. That's the equivalent of pulling into a gas station, getting, you know, putting your credit card in, pumping gas, walking in, using the restroom, coming back out, grabbing a snack, and then getting the rest of the family back together into the car. 20 minutes is, you know, um, I think a reasonable amount of time. So this is really where electric vehicles have that potential to be mass, a uh, mass market and mass appeal for the masses. Mass, 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 mass. So, um, that's kind of why I wanted to talk about Electrify America. Again, this is in response to the fact that Volkswagen was cheating the EPA system. This is what they came up with. 
They bought back the old cars that were cheating so that people like me weren't stuck with these cars, which I think was pretty awesome. And then on top of that, they're building out this whole network of chargers here. So, you know, I think this has the potential to make other EVs as successful and as viable as the Teslas are right now. And that's why I made this video. So if you liked it, please hit like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, um, please hit subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.